uh, before I get carried away doing other things. I got a couple things laying here. I'm going to show you. So this is going to be my metering valve that comes out of the bottom of the plate. There'll be a four inch, uh, inch and a quarter nipple coming out of the plate here. Going into this T. And then another four inch, inch and a quarter nipple going over. And this is going to be in that four inch piece of nipple. I bought uh, six inches, but it's just a little too long. I'm just trying to cut down a little bit on weight. And this is a three eighths nipple NPT National Pipe Thread. And uh, a half inch bolt. It's too small to get good threads, but the uh, the way these national pipe they taper, the threads taper. They, they get uh, the diameter of the thread is farther apart up close to this the nipple, and at the beginning it's narrower. <clears throat> so that that left enough meat here. It's kind of got a uh, flange on the inside all the way around so that gave me enough to just uh, I didn't have to drill it or anything I just took a, uh, a half inch uh, pipe tap or yeah half inch pipe tap and run it down through there it left light impression of threads down through there but uh, the real biting area is here at the end of the, the nipple so I just drilled me some holes. I'll, I'll add more holes if I need them. And it, it's not going to go in and tighten down or anything like that. It'll just rest on that shoulder and it'll seal it off. And seal all the way down to these holes. The bottom one, that uh, the bolt just catches the bottom one. Covers it up. And I'll meter it like that. And I can put uh, other throw other holes over here offset them get a variation of uh, vacuum coming through there so that's what I'm going to do on that and this nipple I got a plastic uh, plug inch and a quarter plug it's going to go up here to where I'll be able to drain my media but it's got a hole wall in it, and I don't want uh, a lot of media laying down in there. So I've got uh, a uh, plastic coffee can lid. I cut it out, and I'm going to probably glue that on there. And by the time it goes up in there, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to make the... Uh, vacuum effect better I'm thinking it'll make it better when most of that bottom area is filled up uh, it's not a cavity it's more uh, filled in I can run it up to almost the top of the threads. I probably can run it up to the top of the threads, but uh, I don't want to get galled in there once some of media goes down around the threads. Make it uh, kind of wedge it and lock it in place. So I may come up with something else, a uh, rubber plug or something to put down in there to fill up the rest of it maybe not even do that just come up with something better I've got a piece of uh, this is a epoxy epoxy paint this was hardened in the bottom of a uh, little cup I was painting some stuff and left that much in there and it's it's pretty hard so I may uh, cut that out and make a plug 
that fills up most of the area it'll it'll go down in here and have a shoulder and rest on that fill up that area and try to fill most of this up to where at media will just fall down and uh, take less vacuum to pick it up it's kind of a smooth transition of course it is going to be filled out into the uh, horizontal four inch pipe that media the gravity it'll just flow out in there so speaking of epoxy let's see am I zoomed in too much I've got this I'm going to paint the inside of the cabinet with this appliance epoxy paint it's white it's enamel epoxy I've got the quart and I've got a couple of the uh, spray cans 12 ounces and I know this stuff is great because this is a guitar slide which you slide the strings I've had it for 45 years it was always it wasn't chromed well it was barely chromed inside and it kept rusting and rusting and I got tired of it and about 10 years ago I sanded it down I took some of this I've got another old real real old can that I uh, sprayed inside I, don't, I lost you I sprayed it inside of this slide and it never the rust never has come back I've used it and used it and it's been great took care of that problem so I mean it is no abrasion or anything just my finger that but the rust has not come back through it it's sealed up inside now so I'm going to paint the inside of the cabinet, not the hopper, no point to it, to lighten it up. Plus, uh, I have a layer of uh, epoxy, appliance epoxy, on the inside of the cabinet. So it'll be brighter, more durable, it'll be smoother, and the media will flow better. Hey guys, I found this can, this old can. I don't know if you can see it. 1999. This is what the can looked like back then, back in those days. 20th century. It's about third full. It's been great stuff. I saw on the line there somebody painted their cart with it. <laughs> uh, of course, the uh, Rust-Oleum guys say uh, it's for indoor use, but uh, from what I've seen, it holds up to weather. It's epoxy and ammo, I mean. What's not to hold up? You saw what uh, this epoxy does. This is from SPI Epoxy. Some great stuff. I'm uh, putting a light in this Harbor Freight uh, blast cabinet. And I uh, just want to give a quick little tip. Anybody wanting to mount these little thin lights. Mounted on the underside. I just took two uh, pieces of regular paper and uh, taped them together, took a pencil and marked these holes out. And then I can uh, remove this tape. Now I have 
the exact location where I need to drill. Have it exactly where I want it. You can do the same thing if you're going to mount this underneath a cabinet. Just mark your holes out and uh, cut out ever how wide you need it if it, excess paper gets in the way. Just tape it up there and uh, drill your holes. And you always have the exact location where you want it. So, uh, just about got this cabinet done. I'm just touching up some things. I made a cart and paint's drying on it where I can uh, wheel it around if I need to and just uh, painting the corners there where I had this black polyurethane sealer on there so that the uh, blast media will slide down easier as the little gummy on the uh, polyurethane so it might want to stick so I've got some red paint there I'm going to uh, spray those seams down here and I painted this with uh, the uh, oh my goodness I forgot epoxy this is appliance epoxy paint it's a little more durable than uh, regular white paint. Uh, of course, it'll wear off over time. And if you just blasted it, it would wear right off. But uh, indirect, it'll last longer than uh, regular white paint. So I, I used this tray because I'm going to put cylinder heads and heavy items in there. I noticed people cut this down or left it out all together and just took that screen and laid it in there cut it down and put it lower but it's awful flimsy for my purposes I need that uh, material that extra material beefiness there it's not all that beefy but it's going to hold a cylinder head V8 cylinder head even inline 6 I can get in here 